Um, all right, right now we're going to catch up with Shea Hodge. He's currently the head coach at Hillcrest Christian. He's a great player here for Ole Miss, as I'm sure you know, Rebels fans. Uh, let's get his thoughts on this year's Ole Miss football team. First of all, Shea, you do everything here. I showed up, and Shea's out there cutting grass on the football field on a 95-degree day. Oh, yeah. <laughs> in a smaller school, man, you know you have to do everything. Um, for okay. Taking equipment out yourself, may not have managers one day, cutting the grass, weed eating, man, you just got to do everything. <laughs> What's the experience been like, your first year as a head coach here? I would have to say it's a big learning experience, you know, um, learning <clears throat> the ins and outs, the do's and the don'ts, the, um, what you would have done better if you um, were starting over again, you know. But overall, I'm satisfied with it, and I'm, I'm loving what's going on. All right, let's get into Ole Miss football now. What was your big, biggest takeaway from the SEC opener against Arkansas? As the time's ticking down, and Ole Miss gets their first SEC win of the year. What's going through Shea Hodges' head? I'm just excited, man. Um, see the defense finally playing ball like back when I was there and um, back when they had freeze. Um, seeing them making plays on defense was number one thing I wanted to see. Looking at the quarterback, he played better this game um, rather than he did against Memphis. I was um, very pleased with that. And the receivers, um, I'm in love with Elijah Moore, man. That that cat is, um, he, he's special. Um, and I put him in the same, I think I heard that they have some uh, acquaintance um, with um, Jerry Judy. Really? I think I think I heard that because I'm in the training business and um, seeing trainers train, I think they're like from the same place and train together. So uh, it makes sense they have the same movement. So. Roger Moore, man, I'm excited about him. Uh, you know, Dennis Jackson and uh, John Domingo, you know, I trained them and coached them in 707. So it's pretty exciting to watch those guys play. Yeah, what was the biggest thing you noticed from week one to week two in just terms of how the offense was able to improve and be more effective? You can tell that the coaches got down to the details, man. That's what coaching is anything, man. You just get down to the details of um, finish, um, polishing up the runs, um, being that. And I think he called the game a little better that game. I think he's kind of conservative the first game. And his game kind of opened it up more, and I think that's why we've seen some success. Defensively, so last year defense was the big, you know, problem, big concern last year. What would you say is the key to the turnaround this year? Is it just getting a new defensive coordinator? Is there anything you're noticing that stands out in terms of the defense? I mean, they've been downright dominant the first two weeks. Yes, I agree. Um, I would say experience, man. You know, they they went back and got on um, Coach Nix. Coach Nix, I'm Coach sorry. Coach Nix. Okay. So Coach Nix, who was there with me, and I just know the de – like, I'm always harp on the details. And that guy, when I was there, he had the defense rolling. He's mean and he locked in and loaded. McIntyre has experience. I don't know him personally, but as you see, he's putting the product on the field. So experience plays a big part in, like, knowing how maybe to simplify things, maybe um to be – more, you know, just to coach different areas a different way and to get through to the kids because, man, nowadays getting through to the kids is pretty tough. You know, oh, I'm learning yeah. that in high school now. Like, it's not like when I play, people just want to do it. You know, now it's more or less of how you talk to them, you know, how do you get, relay the message to them, not screaming at this kid and maybe you can scream at that kid. So, you know, it's just, just, it's just like teaching, man, like a teacher. So... Those guys being older, I think they understand a little bit more. Not to knock anything about McGriff. McGriff was great. He's a great guy. I wouldn't have seen him at Auburn not too long ago. But um, overall, you got to be pleased with what's going on at Ole Miss right now. And how big is that for a team that's relatively young to get that first win, to get the win in SEC play and play so strongly? I mean, you were a part of some young teams, I'm, I'm sure. What does that do for a psyche of a team when you're able to go out there and get a win after such a tough opening week loss? It's just momentum, man. You know, um, win anything, winning cures anything. You know, when you lose, everybody think they got the answers from fans to other coaches. Yeah. Everybody got the answers. But when you win, it silences a lot of critics. Um, you're able to lock in and know, like, hey, what I'm being taught is something that's really, like, it's what's supposed to be taught, you know. And just overall, it's, like Coach Nutt told me a long time ago, winning equals fun. <laughs> and so when you win, you ain't, now they're having fun, you know, instead of every time you lose, you're looking at what can I do better all the time and, you know, just overall, just winning just cures everything. You go from the big SEC home opener to southeastern Louisiana, FCS opponent. How big of a challenge is that for the guys to not overlook a team like southeastern Louisiana? How do you how do you get up for a game like this after such a – you're probably coming off such an emotional high with the Arkansas win. You just got to remember or think about the times that you lost to a team like that. I remember That's one true. year at Jacksonville State we lost to, and I was just shocked. I was like, oh, my God, like we never lost like that. When I was there, even when we was transitioning to being a decent, well, bad team to a really good team, you know, we never lost to like opponent like that. So them having older coaches, um, Coach Luke bringing in older coaches that understand has had head coaching um, experience, I think they'll be ready and locked and loaded. They won't take this for granted and um, building on the success they just had.
Shay Hodge, we appreciate it. We should make this a weekly segment. What do you think? Yeah, I'm up for it. Shay Hodge breaking down the Ole Miss football program. We appreciate it. I'll let you get back to cutting the grass out there. All right, man. <laughs>